Diesel's our fussiest eater. Didn't want to eat his breakfast this morning, so I've covered it up here. So he might want to eat it later. I'm gonna to try to entice him into eating it with a few eggs that I cooked up for him. Diesel has always been a very fussy eater. It gets frustrating at times because he's he's hungry and he wants to eat. But he only wants to eat specific things. He doesn't always want to eat the breakfast that we make. For him. So when this happens, usually what Britt does and what I do as well is try to entice him into eating his breakfast. And if that doesn't work, we'll try again a little later. And if that doesn't work, then he's usually pretty hungry by supper by his next dinner time. And if nothing works and we just can't get him to eat, then by the time his next meal time comes around, he's always really hungry. And he'll eat that. For some reason, he doesn't like eating in the morning all the time. Picky, picky, picky. Everyone's still sleeping, so I'm being a little quiet. As quiet as I can. Well, now you look interested. Really? Okay, trying to get him fed before I have to wake up our son and feed him. See, he is hungry. He's always hungry. He's just fussy. What I've learned is if I stay in the area where he's eating, he'll stop and he'll look at he'll look up at me and expect more treats or more egg, right? But if I leave the area and go to a different room or just into the dining room around here where he can't see me. He'll look up, he'll notice that I'm not there. And then he'll just keep eating until he's done. If he knows I'm watching him, he'll stop eating. Well, you made a pretty good dent. Good boy. Are you sure you don't want any more? I mean, I know someone who will gladly take it. Let's see if we can get you to eat the rest of this yet. What if I sprinkle some chicken liver on there? I don't know if he's gonna leave anything for you, man. Doing pretty good. Oh wow, look at that. That's pretty good, Diesel. Good boy. Are you done? Okay. Chevy. I wanna finish that up. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy. These things are great for helping him want to eat. All right, guys. And what goes in must come out. Come on, Frank. Oh, it's been a really nice couple of days, but it's supposed to cool down a bit again. So, sorry I had to talk so softly inside. My son's still sleeping. I was trying not to wake him up while I fed the dogs. It's nice when I can get up earlier than him, uh, quite a bit earlier, because then I can, you know, have my coffee, can feed the dogs, lift them out, sort of get the house ready. Uh, then I can get his bottle ready. Uh, Brett already has them made in the fridge, all ready to go. All I got to do is put it in the bottle warmer. He's sleeping pretty long today, so I wanted to let him sleep. He didn't have too great of a nap yesterday. We got our new air conditioning installed yesterday, and while the guys were here, he was uh, he was taking his nap while they were here, and he didn't didn't have the greatest sleep, so I'm trying to let him sleep as long as possible today to sort of catch up on that. 
getting the pickup washed. I had an eye appointment just now. Uh, getting a new pair of spectacles. Not cheap. These new glasses were six, six hundred and twenty. That was including the eye exam. Three hundred dollars for the frames, and another two hundred for about five hundred dollars for a pair of glasses, which is cheaper than the last ones. So remember, I paid a thousand dollars for these, but I got a free pair of shades. <laughs> so we got that done. Uh, the reason I'm home right now, I'm filming this on a Monday. My truck is in the shop. It's getting some work done to it. I had two fluid leaks that had to be addressed and had to be fixed. The first one was a diesel fuel leak out of my passenger side tank. You know those, uh, those rough roads up north going to Thompson? You know how every time I go north something breaks on my truck? Well, those roads up north, they were so bad that they must have, some gravel must have gotten between my tank strap and the tank and rubbed like a pinhole through, so it was just barely coming through. It'd be like one drip every couple of minutes, but that's not good, I had to get that fixed right away. So the truck's in the shop for that. While it was in there, the day, or the day that I brought it in there, I looked underneath the truck and I realized, oh, I have another fluid leak. Turns out uh, my transmission fluid, one of the lines that moves the transmission fluid, was leaking as well. So uh, it was just, they had to replace some like some some lines. There's nothing big, so that got replaced. That got fixed. I don't know when I'm getting my truck back because they had to take the tank off. Well, first they had to drain it of fuel. Uh, then they had to clean it out, take it off my truck, send it off to their welding shop, which is a little like down the street, and they're welding it, sealing it up. I don't know what that all includes. I've never had this done before. I don't know how expensive it's going to be, but you can't just have a leaking fuel tank. That's it's kind of like a big no-no. <laughs> so getting that fixed, who knows when that'll be done. I've told it, I've been told it could be a couple of days to a week, depending on how busy their welding shop is. So figured we're running a few errands today, getting the pickup washed. Uh, we've been cleaning up the yard at home, passing time until we can get back to work. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is nice. So the new glasses I got are have got blue frames as well, but it's sort of it's a it's a darker blue than these. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus on these or not. But it's a darker blue than these. It's a, I really like the color of it, and uh, they bend as well. Right around here they have a 360 degree, like the whole thing bends. So it's almost impossible to break them, which I thought was pretty cool. Hopefully I'll like them. I think they look good. I like the way they look, but we'll see what they feel like once I wear them. My eyes hadn't changed that much. My left eye got a slightly got slightly worse. So my prescription is just a little different, but these glasses still still do the trick. They work just fine. So I'm going to I'm going to keep these glasses for work because they're already all scratched up. I mean my working glasses and my other ones are going to be my laser glasses. Be fancy. Build up my stockpile. Glasses for this and glasses for that. Also, these new glasses I bought, my wife is gonna hate this. It has like magnet clip-on shades. I think they look all right. She hates those things. I can't wait to tell her. <laughs> Next stop, right here apparently. Once this guy moves, we're going right there. We're gonna grab some fuel. Where are you going, buddy? You own a liquor store? You got a trailer full of booze? I'm going here, I need fuel. The expensive day just keeps getting more expensive. Now I gotta buy fuel. You need juice, you need juice. You gotta, get, you gotta keep the world moving, yeah? Gasoline and diesel fuel keeps the world turning. We buy our fuel here at the Superstore. Uh, that way we get points that go towards groceries. So uh, we get free money towards groceries that way. I think it works out to like eight cents a liter back or something, sometimes, sometimes more or something. Anything to reduce the price of groceries, right? Groceries are through the roof, so. This is where we fuel up. It's been working for us. I think it's mobile. It's mobile fuel. That's the name of the, the company. You good, sir. Were you trying to video bomb me? Vlogging here, man. <laughs> Saturday we spent back here, or this weekend we spent some time anyways, cleaning this whole place up. All those leaves, 
You guys remember that from uh, when we moved in? We didn't have a chance to clean them up before the snow fell after we moved in. So we got that done. I gotta finish up a little bit of the details around the deck here. They were wet and stuck onto the gravel, so I'm just waiting for everything to dry. Then I'll blow them off the gravel onto the grass and then rake them up. Cleaned around the fire pit back here. And also, this shed had these cement blocks out in front of it here, and they were all overgrown with grass. Carved them out again. I've got my pressure washer at home. I'm gonna pressure wash those off nice and clean. So that, that looks good and finished. And on the deck, we've got our patio furniture. We're ready for summer. I am really excited. I'm so done with winter already. Just because we live up here doesn't mean we have to like the cold weather, you know? That is part of life. So the cold weather isn't enjoyable here in Manitoba, but it makes you appreciate the warm weather a lot more. So we value our summers and make the most of them. As for the tree house, I mean, it's not actually going to be a tree house. It'll be freestanding. It won't actually be connected to the trees. What we're thinking. Uh, the grandpas, my dad and my father-in-law, they want to put together a little playhouse for Theo. Something to go along with that there. We'll probably paint that and paint the, the new one to match. I mean, I thought it'd be pretty cool to sort of have it up on stilts or something a little bit raised up around this tree there, so it's sort of like a tree house but not an actual tree house. We're gonna double check with our municipality and all of our bylaws and stuff to make sure we're uh, up to code and everything for insurance, you know? You gotta make sure that you cross all your T's, dot all your I's. Other than that, this yard is like the perfect size for us. This is gonna be our first summer here. It's not so big that it's unmanageable, like our one property out in the bush that we had there. And it's not too small that you can't enjoy it. But I should mention, you guys have probably noticed at the bottom of the fence here, it looks pretty uh, shabby with the way We've done, this was just a quick fix that again, my dad helped us with last fall. It was just to block off the bottom of the fence so that those little guys couldn't just, you know, walk right under to the neighbor's yard, right? That was just a quick fix. That's not gonna stay like that. I know it looks kind of ugly, but uh, you know, considering and how fast my dad got this done, it looks pretty good. It looks really good. <laughs> and he just had this wood lying around. Of course he did, but this here, see, you can still see there's a little bit of a gap down here. You have to be careful with that. So one of my projects for this spring, once everything dries up properly, is to make it look good. Get new wood to cover up that crack down there. Maybe bring in some dirt as well, just to level it off and make it look good. But that's just that the dogs stay in the yard. That was our main concern. That's another reason why we built that temporary wall there as well. We just talked to our fence contractor yesterday and it looks like he'll be coming in July to finish off this fence. We were gonna put a big rolling gate on there. But I think we've decided now to just put a, a regular man door, just a gate, just to get back there. We'll save ourselves about $3,200 not having a rolling gate on there. And with everything going on right now, our IVF and price of groceries and price of life and price of fuel, we gotta try to save money where we can, right? But yeah, the fence in the back there, that'll be done in July. And I've just gotta finish the bottom. Other than that, and I, we're really happy. This is where we're gonna stay. Get him, Frank. Get him, Frank. Get him. What team are you guys on? You guys on Team Frank or Team Chevy? Chevy's the bigger one for the new people. Get him. Get him, Chevy. Chevy's a big guy, but he's always played so gentle with small dogs and with children. He's such a gentle giant. He doesn't leave them out though, he'll play with them. <laughs> he plays with them. So a lot of big dogs, they'll just ignore little dogs, right? Because either they don't want to hurt them or you know, they're just way bigger. Not Chevy. Chevy includes everybody. Let's go inside, guys, come on. You're a good boy, Chevy. You're a good man. All right, we get these steps washed and get this deck washed. It is filthy. Wonder how much lighter it's gonna get once I get all that dirt off of it. <laughs>
the deck is uh, pretty old already, needs to be restained. But at least it's clean now. Just got everything back on there. It was really dirty. And this is gonna be a little bit hard because it's sunken in. The water sort of just wants to sit on it. But I got all the dirt loose and a little bit of dirt that's sitting on there now. I'm gonna wait for the water to evaporate, for the tiles to dry, and then I can just sweep it off. One project done, on to the next. Gotta go to the shop. I've got uh, to take the winter tires off the terrain and also fix an exhaust leak. All right, I've got the car up here on the stands. I gotta find an exhaust leak underneath there. I'm really hoping it's just a simple hole that I can just patch up and nothing too extensive. But I'll get that exhaust leak fixed here today. And then I need to get these winter tires taken off and put the summer tires back on. And that's my project for today. I'm still waiting for my big truck to come back. Old Blue is over at the welding shop actually, getting my fuel tank fixed, my passenger side fuel tank. Remember that bumpy road up to Thompson? Every time I go north, something breaks on my truck. That's why I don't like going north, but Sometimes there's money up there and you gotta go get the money. You just gotta do what you gotta do, right? You can't always have what you want. So anyways, I went up there and it was a little too rough and uh, some gravel must have gotten between my tank strap and the tank and over time. And that road up there just sort of, it must have just poked through just a pinhole because it was just barely, barely dripping out. Just barely one drop, like every like five, 10 minutes, not even. Just enough so that in the morning I could tell here that there was something wrong. Yeah, because there was a little kind of a wet spot, not even a pool of fuel, just a wet spot. And I smelt it and was like, oh, no kidding, that's diesel fuel. So before that turns into something bigger, I had to get that fixed. So while that's getting fixed there, I also got a transmission line that was fixed, but working on another project. It's always something to do. So first things first, I'm just going to see if I can just see it, outright see it. See, there's the exhaust pipe from there. Somewhere in there, there's a hole. And I'm thinking it's after the muffler because it's still pretty quiet. You can just tell that there's a leak, but I will check the whole thing, see if I can figure it out. And if it's something that I can't do here, well, I'll have to bring it in and get it looked at by a professional. I'm gonna start it up and see if I can feel where it's coming out. Well, hear that, right? It's over here somewhere. Oh, right there. All right. Okay, let's take a look here. So it's right. Ah, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Put the light in here a little better. Right here. So, pretty easy fix. I mean, if I want to fix it the correct way, just replace the muffler. Am I going to do it the correct way? I might have to, but first I'm going to try some exhaust wrap. We'll see. We'll see if this will work. If not, then, well, mufflers aren't that expensive, but let's see if I can fix it, save some money. It'll probably only be a temporary fix. Won't know until I try, right? Lesson learned. Exhaust tape doesn't work. What I need is like exhaust putty, like JB Weld Extreme Heat. Mix it up, because it's just the crack along the muffler there that's leaking, right? So I can fill that crack with the Extreme Heat JB, JB Weld, let it sit for 24 hours, and that's a much, much better way of fixing this problem than trying to wrap that thing. Doesn't work, it doesn't seal. It just fell off. Maybe I did it wrong. The putty sounds like a much better idea anyway. So I'm gonna to go to Canadian Tire, which is sort of like our fleet farm or tractor supply. If you're wondering what it compares to in the US. A little different, it's our own version. 
I'm gonna go there and get some of that and I can just fix this. Uh, I can reach it without these stands. So I can just fix it in our garage and then just let the vehicle sit overnight. And that should do it. I'll try that. Anyways, that's that. Well, we got the new tires on at least. So if we, uh, <laughs> at least we got that done. Why did I just turn the vehicle off? That's weird. It's been a, an expensive week again. I haven't even gotten my bill for the truck. That's gonna be probably quite a bit. I don't know how much all the repairs will be, but it'll be more than I want it to be, that's for sure. We got these wheels uh, changed over now. I've also gotten some new uh, exhaust seal. So uh, I think that'll work a lot better than the tape I was trying to use. Because this is more of a putty, right? We got that now, ran, running a few errands, grabbed a prescription from Shoppers Drug Mart here. Some snacks for later, because after this week, I need something to snack on. Plus, I bought new glasses yesterday. Oh, and there's more fertility uh, treatments coming up as well. So, uh, oh, and our fence. We arranged to have our fence finished in July. So we don't actually have to pay for that until July, or probably 30 days from when it's done. But, whew, for a week where I'm not making any money, my wheels aren't turning on my truck. I'm sure spending a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to work really hard after this. As soon as I get my truck back, I'm just gonna have to go, 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 go. But that's okay. Like I always say, it's a good thing I really like my job because I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time at my job to pay for everything. But we got it, we'll be fine. Hopefully this exhaust sealant works. I didn't fail at the repair. I just found one way that doesn't work. We'll try another way. We're at home in the, the home garage now. And this stuff. I decided just to quickly do this here at home. This stuff is so much better and easier to fix that with. Look at this here, I'll show you what I just did here. It's underneath here. See that? All along that crack, or towards the back here is where it was leaking. Now this is supposed to set in about two to four hours, and it'll be fully cured in about 24 hours. So we'll see. So much easier than trying to wrap it. That was silly. I shouldn't have done that, but now I know. Hopefully this works. Pre-mixed and everything. I was gonna go with the JB Weld one, but that one needed to be mixed up yet, and this one was right beside it and it was like, what, 10 bucks? Not bad. Hopefully that does the trick. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I didn't even need to jack the vehicle up here. Now that I knew what I was looking for. Hopefully, hopefully that does the trick. If not, I can always put another layer on there yet, but uh, I think we've, we got it there. Clearly not the neatest, neatest job, but Whatever, I'm not a professional muffler exhaust fixer, I'm a truck driver. Ugh. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but mainly I do trucking. Trucking and YouTube. Trucking and YouTube, that's my things. Everything else is sort of just a, we'll see what happens kind of thing. So here, we need to get rid of all these boxes. This is still all of our boxes from our move. We finally cleared out that upstairs room. I turned it into my office. So, uh, that was still all full of boxes. We got rid of all those yesterday. Well, we got rid of them in the room. They're still right there. We need to get rid of them. There's our bedroom. His bedroom and the new office. This way I'm closer to everything and I felt so detached downstairs from everything so we got to organize in here yet but. yeah what do you think diesel I like it a lot better it was a little cold downstairs too and the dogs couldn't come down there diesel can't do stairs anymore so he's just upstairs so 
Got my vlog operation up here now too. It's a smaller room. I haven't been in here with the door closed yet. It's a smaller room than the office was downstairs, but that's okay. Feels better. That's what's important. So I can run the business from here when I'm at home, all my paperwork, all my taxes and my work, all my vlogs, everything right here now. I just gotta uh, hang stuff up. So that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. Tomorrow, as far as I know, we'll be at home again. I'm still waiting to hear back from the welding shop on my tank for my truck. Maybe we'll hear back tomorrow. We'll see. Take care. Be safe out there. Drive safe and keep your stick on the ice.